welcome to Headway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress powered website. Uh, Google Analytics is a great way for you to track visitors and whether or not your website is getting traffic and how that traffic is converting and like where those people are going. Um, and it's especially important to add it at the beginning so you really know where you've gone from day one. And it's really, really easy using a plugin called Google Analyticator. So I'm in the dashboard of my charity website, which obviously isn't finished, but I'm going to go to Plugins and Add New. I'm going to type in Google Analyticator. It's not really a word, but that's the name of the plugin. All right, it comes up first, so just click Install Now. The reason we're using this particular plugin is because it will show you an overview of your stats right from the WordPress dashboard, which I think is a really cool um, feature because you don't have to log into Google Analytics to see sort of what your bounce rate is and what the average time on site is and how many visitors. You kind of just get an overview from WordPress and you can go and look at all that stuff later uh, when you have time to sit down and analyze the data. And the reason it's taking so long to install, by the way, is because my internet has been really on and off in the past few weeks, so I'm hoping it'll pull through. Uh, you probably go to install plugins, though. Probably cheat and go to the plugin menu and see if it works. It does, okay. So it's installed, I'm going to click activate. And now I'm going to go to Settings, Google Analytics. I'm going to close this forever loading page. Okay. Now you need to click to authenticate your website. So basically, you're going to log into Google, and you're going to grant it access to your Google Analytics account. You're going to grant your own website access to your Google Analytics account. Um, and it's going to automatically add the tracking code for you. Hopefully this one will load properly as well. But we can still cheat and go back to the dashboard. Oh no, good, it worked. Okay. The little web page that could. Maybe. Aha. So you can see here on the dashboard, um, it's loaded, and you have to select an analytics account, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to go to Google Analytics, because the other page doesn't want to load for me. And we're going to click Enable. And then usually it gives you a little drop down, but it doesn't want to work. Click Enable and hit Save Changes. It's really going to be... Let's try this one more time. Okay, there we go. Now it's going to give you a select account. I'm going to select another shoulder, which is the website I'm on, and click Save Changes. And now... Um, it doesn't make any changes to the front end, obviously, but it will now start tracking your visits using Google Analytics, and you'll have this cool dashboard widget um, that will show you recent activity, etc. And that's how you add uh, Google Analytics to a WordPress site using Google Analyticator. My name is Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.